So we're going to start with the basic one, two, three, four, jab, cross, hook, cross. So that's the combo. She is going to do the technique or the combo up to the number that I call. So if I call one, she only does the jab. If I call two, she does jab, cross. And if I call three, jab, cross, hook. And if I call four, it's jab, cross, hook, cross. This also teaches you how to throw the hook and add power and how to throw the hook and the cross and add power. Okay, so we're going to just go through it a few times. All right. Four. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Four. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Two. Jab, cross, one. One. Three. Three. Two. Four. Okay, so that's the jab, cross, hook, cross basic drill. This also teaches you how to move. Uh, how to hold for hooks and how to how to move with your partner and staying in what we call the fighting distance or the fighting measure. So it's really good for that. And you can just you can start adding stuff to it as you see fit. I can make her do burpees in between. I can make her do defenses in between, uh, whatever. But we'll just start with something basic. So we're going to do the one, two, three, four, and end with a knee. Now when we end with a knee, she is going to throw the opposite knee, hopefully, the opposite knee of the last punch she threw. So if she throws a jab. And then a knee, it'll be your rear knee. She does jab cross, she'll shuffle and do the lead knee. Me as her partner, I'm going to put one hand on top of the other or one glove on top of the other and pretend like I'm giving CPR about hip height. Okay? Right in the middle. So it doesn't matter whether she throws left or right, it's coming straight up the middle. So even if she messes up, I will hit uh, the knees fine. So let's try that a few times. So let's start with uh, the basic four. Two, one, one, three, two, three. So that's the one, two, three, four with a knee. We can add hand techniques to that as well. So the next one, let's do uh, one, two, three, four. And after every combo I ask for her to do, she throws another cross. So if I say one, she does jab and follows with a cross. If I say two, she goes jab, cross, cross. And if I say three, jab, cross, hook, cross. And of course, four, jab, cross, hook, cross, cross. Okay? So let's try that. One. Three. Two. Two. Four. Four. So the next one we'll do is we'll add a defensive move. In this case, the defense is just body mechanics. It'll just be body defense. Uh, so we'll go back to the slipping that we did earlier, and we'll add a slip at the end of each one of these. Now, for her as the person going, the person doing the techniques, she'll just feel like she threw an extra punch. So if I say jab, she'll throw jab, and in her head she'll throw a cross, and her body will move like she's throwing a cross, but it'll just be... The shoulder. So if I say jab cross, she'll go jab cross and pretend like she threw the hook, but it will just be moving her shoulder. So it looks something like this. We'll go slow. One, two, three, four. Okay. This teaches her to slip after her combo ends, and it also as the uh, holder, it, te it teaches me when to throw a punch. So it helps me because I have to be active and I have to be cognizant of what's going on as well. So let's do that a few times. Two. Ah. Two. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah. One. Two. Four. So that's the one, two, three, four with a uh, slip. Three, three, four, 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 Everything we did today was for a reason. We go back to the one, two, three, four drill, except now in between, every now and then, in between combos, kick them in the groin. Now, as the kicker, kick proper.
with your hands up. No. And you'll find out why. So you've done this with me before, right? All right, so two. Two. One, two, three, four. That's why. So she's going to do the one, two, three, four at the end of the kick. So I kick her. Boom. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, one, three, 